The USS Compensator handles like a cruise ship on choppy water. Why did you choose to build this? Why not? Hi. Howdy, howdy. Can I get a large ice water, please? This is a one-of-a-kind rig. Thank you. And it was more to challenge myself than anything else. I wanted to see what was the biggest, most impractical vehicle I can build. And what's bigger and longer than a limo, nonetheless, a lifted limo. This was a massive build on a mini budget. Jordan bought a Lincoln Town Car limo for $1,200 and set about his monster conversion. It took me about three months to put this whole thing together. Three months of dang near 12 hour days, building this 99% myself with minimal hand tools, a welder, torch, plasma cutter, a grinder, the impact, and a handful of wrenches. I spent between eight to $10,000 and that's including the price of the limo. I was like a kid in a candy shop, every bit of the progress. Why did you choose to build this? Why not? I've always wanted a limo for a long time. I've always saw limos and thought they were really unique rigs. Named the Compensator. This is unofficially the tallest Lincoln Town Car in the United States. Come on up, it won't hurt. <laughs> the name's pretty self-explanatory. The Compensator is powered by a 4.6 litre engine, has air ride suspension, and it's sporting some pretty impressive rubber. These are military grade spec tire. I purchased them off of eBay. They're a 53 inch tall by a 16 wide. They sit on a 20 by 14 wheel. The weight on one tire is 380 pounds a piece. The wheel itself is 55 pounds a piece. So you're over grossing 400 pounds per wheel and tire on each one of these sold. I've added over 1,600 pounds of weight to this limo just in the drivetrain alone. While it's all fun and games off-road, navigating in town is a bit of a challenge. The car is not useful. It's hard to park, it's hard to drive around town. I gotta watch my corners, watch my blind spots at all times. Just for driving, I have a hammer mounted in the front and mounted in the rear. I typically keep them on at all times when I'm driving down the road. Unfortunately, I can't go through most drive throughs anymore. The limo barely fit as it was, bone stock through drive throughs I max out the height bar, and it's not the easiest to park. The limo itself is kind of a challenge. I normally take up two spots, unfortunately. Sometimes three or four. Normally, you'll catch me at the very end of a parking lot, not up front. The turning radius on the limo now is actually just slightly worse than it was stock. The turn radius when it was stock was very terrible. Now it's just a little bit worse than that. <laughs> but that's the fun of it. I love the challenge of navigating through town. It's like an off-road course inside city limits. The USS Compensator handles like a cruise ship on choppy water a hobby of mine and that's where this has started out. Just having a passion and throwing stuff together and going, I want to build this? Now how do I make it work? How do the puzzle pieces fit? And so far they fit pretty good. Uh, and there's still kinks that I'm working out. I've already had cash offers for this thing. And I'm like, uh, as much as I'd like to sell this and build something cooler, I don't think I could get rid of this one. I don't think I could sell the USS Compensator. It's almost too sentimental now. I use it for just driving around, showing it off, showing off my hobby, my project, my work so far. It's just an impractical vehicle that can be daily and luckily enough is street legal in the state of Oregon. And I love the six foot Longhorns. They are kind of my pride and joy. 